Welcome to NamUs's Coding Revolution. Today we'll walk you through a few quick easy steps to start using Coding Revolution for all your coding needs. After logging in, you're brought directly to the search box. This all-in-one search box allows you to search by either keyword or code for ICD-9, CPT, or HCPCS codes. You could also search for ICD-9 Volume 3, ICD-10 codes, or by keyword or code for CPT assistant articles. Check or uncheck the applicable boxes at the bottom of the search box to search those items you wish. Let's first look at a CPT code, code 10061. On the first screen of the description, you're prompted with many pieces of information. Not only do you get the consumer and clinical description, but you're also given a lay description, which in plain English describes the procedure in detail. Within this tab, you'll also get the medically unlikely edits or the MUEs. This is helpful if a code has been assigned an MUE. This will tell you the maximum number of units that CMS believes you should report on a given day. Underneath that, you'll notice all of the RVU data. This RVU data is also populated by location. For example, here for Colorado, all Gypsy locations are available and can be set in your preferences for a default. We break out the RVU data by the work, malpractice, and physician expense and give you the total RVUs for both the facility and non-facility use. The dollar amount is the actual Medicare fee schedule amount, Gypsy adjusted for the location you've selected. The last piece of this screen are the payment indicators. Hovering over any of these indicators will give you a great description of what they mean. For example, how many global surgical days? Is the procedure reduced when multiple procedures are done? Can you report this with the bilateral modifier? Or is an assisted surgery available? All of this information is listed here with detailed descriptions. The next tab on the CPT code is the LCD tab. If an LCD is available for the CPT code in your given state, it'll be listed here. Not only will you have direct access to the carrier website for the full LCD, but we'll also pull in those applicable payable or not payable ICD-9 codes given off of the policy. At any time, you could change the state on this screen to check other neighboring states or possibly another MAC. The CCI Edit tab gives you all of the column 1 and column 2 edits for a given CPT code. You'll notice the small 1 or 0 in the upper right hand corner of each code. This is the indicator to let you know whether or not a modifier is allowed when billing these two codes together. A 0 means that no modifier is allowed, while a 1 means a modifier may be allowed if your documentation supports it. Each one of these codes is a link, so you can hover over the code for a code description or click on it to be brought to that CPT code's main page. Our next tab is the cross-reference tab. Here we crosswalk to many different code types, including a crosswalk to the anesthesia code and commonly build modifiers and diagnosis codes for the CPT code. The CPT Assistant tab will show you any relevant CPT Assistant articles applicable to the CPT code you're reviewing. Next, let's review an ICD-9 code. For example, here, 401.1. This is for benign essential hypertension, and all of the information you're used to seeing on your ICD-9 book is listed here, from includes, excludes, any relevant manifestation or code first data. The cross-reference tab for ICD-9 not only shows you the common CPT codes this is reported with, but will also code walk you over to the ICD-10 gem. This code can then be searched on itself to get more information about upcoming ICD-10 changes. 
For HICPICs, you can search by either drug name or HICPIC code. For example, searching for Celestone will show you where this code is relevant within ICD-9, CPT, or HICPICs. Since we're looking for a HICPIC code, we're pushed to HICPIC code J0702, and we can now select this link to get all of the relevant HICPIC code data. When on the HICPIC code, we get some key information, including the dosage. Since we want to make sure and always capture the correct units for HICPIC codes, we can see that this code is billed out in three milligram units. There's also the drug brand names listed, and this is a great way to be able to correspond to your doctor's documentation and know that any of these drug brand names can be searched on in that code search option. We're also given the Medicare payment allowance for the drug off the drug pricing fee schedule. A great resource within Coding Revolution is the check feature located in the top blue toolbar. This feature allows you to check CPT codes against modifier and ICD-9 codes against CPT policy, CCI edits, and coding rules. For example, we'll plug in the following CPT and ICD-9 codes and check them against the state of Arizona and the current CCI edits. At any point, you can change the date of service to look at past CCI edit versions. You could also plug in relevant patient sex and age information, and this will check for code pairs and diagnosis errors that may be dependent on sex or age. Here are the results of our four CPT codes in check. The system will use a stoplight system for color coding the results. Green means go or there's no errors. Yellow means caution, there are some possible errors. And red means stop as there's a huge problem going on. For example, code 62311 has CCI edits that limit its ability to be billed with two of the different CPT codes. At the bottom of that screen, it also shows you Medicare's payment percentage for when that CPT code is reported without any modifiers. For code 10061, we have a couple different warnings. There are LCD warnings of the ICD-9 code 25000 used in conjunction with the CPT code, and a claims data error showing you that this code is not commonly reported together. Code 20938, we can see it's pulling in CPT guidelines, telling us that per the guidelines, this code cannot be billed unless it's reported with one listed. Since we do not have one of those conjunction codes, the system is giving us that red error. The last tab in Revolution in the top blue toolbar is the resources. This is a list of great resources from the ICD-9, CPT, and future ICD-10 manuals. This includes things like the hypertension table and the neoplasm table. We're all familiar with how the neoplasm table is laid out, and looking at the neoplasm table from the resource gives us that same familiar alphabetical listing that we can then search for and pull the correct ICD-9 code based off the status of that neoplasm. We hope that'll get you started using the product. If at any time you have any questions or concerns or need further assistance, please send an email to admin at codingrevolution.com. Thank you.